Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Really? James May's first Top Gear appearance. Okay. Let's see. Hi guys, original link to the video, top of the description, right below that link to the Discord. Click on it, send you right over there. My name is Connor. If you're new, I like to learn and laugh and stuff. Let's go. Now, this being a new series of Top Gear, we thought we'd try out a new presenter, okay? He's called James May, and on the evidence of what we're about to see, he is a blithering idiot. <laughs> One day, probably in the dentist, you'll find yourself leafing idly through the small ads in the back of a classic car magazine. Wait, is this actually not his first appearance? Is that, or maybe Cor or Corbin? I was about to say Jeremy Corbin. Jeremy. <laughs> All right, sorry. C ah, never mind. Idly through the small ads in the back of a classic car magazine, and you'll probably think to yourself, huh. All that money I spent on a Ford Mondeo could have been used to buy something really interesting, like Mark II Inspector Moore style Jag, for example. An old Porsche 911. There are quite a few old Porsche 911s in here. Look, you could even have a Bentley. Mind you, you'd have to be a complete idiot to buy one of those. This one's mine. It's a T2, pretty much the cheapest Bentley money can buy. I wonder how many videos of a British person getting into a car it's going to take before I stop feeling a bit strange when they enter on the right side of the car. You can pick one of these up for seven or eight grand, but don't, because for that money it's going to be a complete bag of bolts. This, though, is a good one. It costs 14 grand, but it's got a full-service history. All the parts are genuine. There's no rust, no filler, and no evidence of bodged repairs. Now, 14 grand's top dollar for one of these, but that's still only the price of the most basic Mondeo. Unlike the Mondeo, though, the Bentley shouldn't depreciate. A Mondeo's a disposable item, but a Bentley's... it's a Bentley. So why do I like it, then? It's an appreciating... A priest de uh, asset? I for ah. Well, I like this wood. Someone's taken a lot of care over that. I like the view. I like that strip of chrome down the bonnet and the weird wing bee thing down at the end. And I like the sort of daftness of it. I mean, the light switch is there, fair enough, but the key goes here, and the windscreen wipers are here. I'd expect the windscreen wipers to be here, but this is actually the gear stick, and the handbrake's down here. It's all wrong, and I love that. Somewhere up front is a huge 6.75 litre V8 engine, but when you put your foot down, nothing happens. You get a bit more noise, and it might go a little bit faster, but on the whole, it's a complete waste of time. You might as well just relax. Handling. I've got furniture that handles better than this thing. Watch. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Better than this thing. Watch. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. So, it's rubbish to drive. I'm going slower than you, and yes, I look like a failed porn star. But I am in my own Bentley. Right then, a Bentley for Mondeo money. Some of you are pretty tempted by this idea, hmm? but hang on, I haven't told you how it ruined my life yet. I said this car doesn't depreciate, but big deal, who really cares about depreciation anyway? It's just something that goes on all the time when you're in the pub or in bed. It's not something that hurts you every day. For that, you need a Bentley. Every time I go near this thing, it kicks me in the head and runs off with my wallet. It costs 80 quid to fill up and does 15 miles to the gallon, if I drive like an undertaker. I have to rent a king-size garage to keep it in, and it takes up two tokens at the jet wash. OK, servicing only costs about the same as it does for a mid-sized BMW, but it has to go in three times as often. Which is why my mechanic buys his overalls from Gucci, while I sit at home, eating gruel. 
Cheap thrills? <laughs> Go on, try this. It's bloody terrifying. It seems to me you could have done that film a lot shorter than that. Yes, it's, um... For the money you spend on a basic Mondeo, you could buy an old Bentley, like I did. Don't. Exactly. Don't go anywhere near it. It's a stupid idea, isn't it? It is. It's fine as a hobby, but this is my only car. You don't even have another car? I don't have another car. Well, how many sacrifices do you have to make? Um, going for a curry, having mates, having yeah. a proper car. <laughs> in any form of life. And presumably it won't fit in your garage since you live in London. No. Well, actually, that's not quite true. The first 12 feet fit in the garage magnificently, <laughs> even though I can't actually get out of the car. <laughs> but then there are two feet on the pavement. Yeah, you don't want that. And then the last three feet are on the road and get a parking ticket. <laughs> <laughs> and if I put the, ho the whole car on the road, you have to pay the council tax, obviously. Because it's a house, really. It is. The thing is, is it's not my sort of car. But then we do differ, don't That's we? That's why I like it. Yeah, Jeremy. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you just look at what I say and go, he's wrong. I looked at Auto have... Trader and I thought, what wouldn't Jeremy buy out of all these cars? That one. Yeah, I'll have I that. respect that in a man. I really do. <laughs> you said in the film you have to rent a garage. Yeah. Well, how far away? I don't know, seven miles or so. <laughs> You rent a garage seven miles from your house. Mm. How do you get there, then? On my folding bicycle, obviously. <laughs> you are mad! So you You're... bike to a garage that your car is in? That, like, is your nor... That's, like, your house gar... Or your, 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 your default garage? That's interesting. I mean, it's not crazy, I guess. There's not that much space over there, I suppose. It's just clinically insane running a car like this. I think you may be missing an essential point, though, Jeremy. Comfy, though, but this sort of thing. Like this. It's like a it's water bed. The firm suspension. Actually. No, is it really? Yeah, the it tea is. is got, for firm suspension. It's got something rather preposterously called... Is Hammond already on the show, or uh, is he after May? The Harvey or Bailey it. handling kit. Harvey Bailey didn't know anything about suspension, no. either, by the looks of things. <laughs> Despite all that... I think, well, let's say, of all the cars in this studio, this one is actually the cheapest. No, it's isn't it? the smart's isn't it? cheaper. That's 30. It's 500 pounds cheaper. You can have a smart. Okay, well. Which doesn't do this. This would have been cheaper. <laughs> this would have been cheaper if I'd not felt sorry for the bloke who was selling it and haggled a bit more. That's a British got it. disease. It is a British this disease. Well, I feel really sorry car. for him, yeah. Am I right in saying this car is so cool that most people, by which I mean Jeremy, don't realise it yet? Yeah. yeah. Okay, hands up if you think it's a cool car. Yes. Yeah, That's yeah. one, two, three. <laughs> and on that bombshell, let's do the news, shall we? Ah, uh, that was good. If that was their first one, they obviously must have been uh, boys before that. Um, best British car, huh? Why not? All right. Uh, no, we're not. It's gonna. It's gonna. I know it. It's gonna. I ended up having a good reaction, and then I go too far, and it all gets copyrighted. I know how it works. All right. Uh, love y'all. Team up. Now, if you're not doing well, you'll be good soon. Don't worry. If you are doing well, get ready, because it's going to go downhill. <laughs> Joking. Uh, then that's good. Um, all right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.